Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Oh, Governor Godwin Obaseki goes tough and very hard on Philip Shaibo. Do you know since the impeachment, Philip Shaibo has not returned the government 15 vehicles in his custody? Yes, Governor Godwin Obaseki makes demand, says, Philip Shaibo, why do you still have the government vehicles with you? Why do you still have them with you? You need to return them. You know, and Philip Shaibo does not want to return them. However, he's saying it is time to return them. Okay, so this is what is happening and everybody can see. Um, Philip Shaibo has insisted that he is the, you know, the, the apparent sole heir to becoming a, you know, governor of Edo State after Obaseki. However, Obaseki has declined and has supported Igudalo. This has caused a lot of rift and everybody can see. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as Governor Gordon Obaseki goes tough on Philly Shaibo. What's going on is beyond words and we need to really get to the very bottom of it. According to the Daily Times, it is no longer news that um, Comrade Philip Shaibo has been impeached as a Doe State Deputy Governor and replaced with engineer Marvelous Godwin or more bio, also from Edo North Sanitaria District. But the lingering succession struggle between Governor Godwin Obaseki and his embittered Deputy Governor Philip Shaibo continues unbeated. Shortly after Philip Shaibo's impeached by the House of Assembly, Honorable Blessing, who led the House of Assembly agent, obviously not done with the disgrace for the former deputy governor, demolished his security outpost in front of his private residence in Benin, saying he is no longer in government to enjoy such privilege and that very government uh, security post, he, he has no need for it and so it was demolished. Words leaked out that the government the governor had ordered his security, his chief security officer, CSO, to seize government cars and hold them in his custody since he, Philip Shaibo, was no longer in office and active service. Just as the Deputy Office Alliance were considering their option, Philip Shaibo close friends begged to remain anonymous, saying, Only God know when the when all this will end against their principal who was their friend he said it is part of the lawlessness and impunity against their principal who was philip shaibo even though the impeachment case is still pending in court the the they, dis, they dismissed this person who had only five months remaining in his second tenor after serving four years as deputy governor in his first tenor and three years plus in his second tenor. Honorable Christopher, Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, responded by refuting the idea that Obaseki ordered the CSO to seize the 15 official vehicles from the impeached deputy governor. Following the impeachment of the former deputy governor, the, the permanent secretary overseeing Overseeing government assets sent him a letter requesting that he return his official cars affixed to his office as his customary practice nationwide since he's no longer in active service. Philip Shaibu said this is the disgrace of the highest order. So my lovely people, this is part of what has happened. Governor Gordon Obaseki has made sure that Philip Shaibu, you know, is left with nothing. You know, he has gone ahead to ensure that you know, um, Philip Shaibu is thoroughly disgraced. Okay, thoroughly disgraced as disgrace could be could be explained. So, my lovely, wonderful people, uh, Philip Shaibu has been given what we call the red card. Yeah, a red card. You know, um, and um, is out of the game. He's no longer he's no longer the deputy governor and still wants to enjoy the privileges that comes with that office. Governor Gordon Obaseki, on the other hand, says no. You cannot uh, work in Mobi and receive your salary in Shell. So it is time for you to say goodbye to that very position 
and the influence and all that comes with it. And so they've gone ahead, they, you know, and um, Felicia Shaibo has been sh stripped off of everything. You know, it was, it was supposed to be him returning it, not waiting for letters to come. Since the impeachment was pronounced, you know, uh, he should have just, you know, did the honorable thing, you know, honorable thing by, you know, quietly returning everything. But what did he do? He kept mute, he kept quiet, still enjoying all of this. And um, uh, before he could say Jack Robinson, we saw that, you know, things went beyond words and um, everybody began to see, you know, uh, began to see all of this that is going on. And then um, Felix Shaibu was actually shown the red card and um, sent out of the, you know, sent out of the way. So every single person can see that it is important that we begin to ensure that things are done decently and in order. Felix Shaibu has now seen and has now, you know, has now seen that, you know, when you offend the ghost, these are some of the things that happen. In this case, Obaseki being one of the ghosts, <laughs> you know, he has offended the ghost and Obaseki looking at him said the guy cannot be trusted with Edo State. You know, so he says, no way, you cannot take over from me. Uh, in Obaseki's own way, he has looked at the whole thing and saw that, you know, Igo Dalo will succeed him better. A man, you know, who had, who, you know, in the business world has done well, you know, um, has this reputation and CV tied to his belt. You know, so a lot of things have happened. And right about now, you can see how things are. Obaseki and Felix Shaibu, everyone is beginning to really, you know, try to, everyone is maintaining their lane. However, Felix Shaibu is taking refuge with some people, uh, with some other allies, you know, um, he's, he's now parleying with Chief Dan Obi and trying to understand, you know, how he can be relevant again mm -hmm. in terms of politics in Edo State. Now, when you're working with people, you need to be, you need to be careful. You need to know exactly what you're doing. If you, if you appear too ambitious, if you appear to, some people may look at you and say, uh, 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 this one is, uh, is uh, you know, this ve the very selfish, um, the curious rat ends up in the, in the, in the, you know, in the, in the, in the trap, you know, it's really shy, but if you wanted, you would have just been quiet and, you know, follow your master. In this case, who happens to be a Baseki, diligently and not showing yourself. Don't forget that Obaseki also fought many battles for you. And um, at the end of the day, he saw how curious you are and said, this guy cannot succeed me. Anyway, my guys, my people, what do you think? Let's hear your thoughts, you know, on what's going on between Governor Gordon Obaseki, Felix Shaibo, you know, the, the, the uh, person, Governor Gordon Obaseki, supporting um, Igu Dalo and um, all going on in Edo State. The elections is right around the corner. Um, September is just around the corner. You may say, before you say Jack Robinson, remember we just said Happy New Year? Yes, we are in May. By the way, Happy New Month. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.